Hello and welcome, this is Angie with thecountrychicottage.net. So today we're gonna to use our Cricut, our Cricut Easy Press, Cricut Infusible Ink transfer sheets to make a mouse pad. So if you thought you could only use infusible ink sheets on Cricut surfaces, nope, there's so many more things you can put it on. So this is a sublimation mouse pad that you can get off Amazon and you can put an infusible ink design right on it. So I chose a quote and did it out of the watercolor infusible ink but you can choose any design you would like to put on your mouse pad. So let's get started making a mouse pad with Cricut Infusible Ink. For this project, you'll need an Easy Press. I'm going to use my largest Easy Press because it'll cover the entire mouse pad at one time. I have done Infusible Ink projects where I pressed multiple times, so if you have the 9x9, you can still make this project. You'll need the mouse pad itself which needs to be rated for sublimation. So this is a sublimation mouse pad. Most mouse pads are, but when you order yours, make sure that it is. And I'll drop a link to some that I like in the description below. You'll need heat resistant tape, your infusible ink sheets. I'm using these pretty watercolor patterns. I'm actually gonna use this one in the center. Some butcher paper, white cardstock, and your easy press mat. So the first thing we're going to do is head to our Cricut machine, take a look at the design, some things you need to do before you cut, and then we'll cut the infusible ink sheet using a Cricut Explore Air 2. Click make it, mirror your cut, and now since we're using the outside, we'll need to center the design ourselves. So the mouse pad I'm using is about nine and a quarter wide, so I'm going to approximately center it. And then it's seven and three quarters long. So once your design is about in the center, you can click continue. Then I'm cutting with my air two. I have my dial set to custom. And then we'll pick infusible ink. And we'll head to the machine to cut. So here's my infusible ink sheet. So you place it with the lining down on the mat. So the ink side will be up and then you mirror your cut just like I showed you. And then we'll just peel the mat back from the infusible ink sheet. Okay, in this case, we're gonna leave it kind of um, wide. So I am gonna cut a little off this bottom that I could use for another project but I'm gonna cover the entire mouse pad with the ink itself. So I'm not gonna trim any off the side because it would just be so little that I wouldn't be able to use it for anything. And then we're gonna take the letters off the sheet. So instead of weeding it the other way, we're gonna weed it kind of the opposite of what you would expect. So to make weeding a little easier, we're gonna crack our sheet and that's just kind of bending it. And then I'm going to start lifting up those letters. So it's best just to weed infusible ink with your hands. If you need something to help you lift, like a pair of tweezers, work the best. So I'm just going to keep weeding our design. And then we'll come back and press it onto our mouse pad. Here's our design completely weeded and ready to be applied. So I took away all of the excess. So anything I didn't want transferred. So that means like the centers of letters are actually still left in the design. So that's kind of like reverse weeding. So be sure that the centers of letters and everything you want on your mouse pad is still on the infusible ink sheet. And then how I positioned it in Cricut Design Space, this side and this side will actually line up with the edge of my mouse pad. So what I'll need to do is tape that into place. So it is sticky where I've weeded it, but it's not going to actually lay down on the mouse pad. So I'm going to actually tape this in place. So I have the Easy Press mat. I have a piece of cardstock, which is going to be important to protect that Easy Press. And then, so the tape does not stick super, super well to the mouse pad itself. So what we're going to do now is tape this down to the cardstock itself. So we'll just take it and tape it right to that cardstock. Now 
And once you have it all taped down, you just put down your butcher paper and you'll put down your easy press, hit the button and hold down with medium pressure for the full time. Once your press is complete, lift straight up, allow everything to cool completely before you touch it because everything can be really, really hot. So once that's cooled, we can start lifting up our transfer sheet, just pulling up that tape. And you can see your design on the mouse pad. And it's perfect and won't come off at all. Your mouse pad is complete. You can also see around where your mouse pad was, there will be ink on this sheet. So this sheet needs to be thrown away. You don't want to reuse it for anything. So it's a super simple project and will look great on your desk. So if you love this video, learn something, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we did today, please leave those in the comment section below. You might also want to head on over to our YouTube channel and subscribe if you have not already. We have cricket videos every week and you don't want to miss any of those. I'll also drop some link in the comment section below. So I'll drop links like the cut file for this mouse pad, links for the basics of infusible ink if you've never used it before, the links for that infusible ink blanket where I pressed twice on the same surface. You don't have to have the large easy press to make something like this. So I'll drop a few of those links below. Be sure to check those out as well. So thank you all so much for joining me today. And I'll see you next week with another great Cricut video. Thanks, y'all. Bye-bye.